You have to tell me about your crush. Uh, fine, okay. It's Ben. <laughs> Girl, get better taste. Jesus. What are you doing? Where are you going? You gotta take a walk. Bye. Welcome to the season two reaction for Heartstopper. I am super excited to get into the show because season one was a banger. Similarly to the reactions that I did for season one, I am joined by a very special guest. Say hello to Victoria. <laughs> season two is something we've been anticipating for a while. How do you feel now that it's finally here? I feel like it's not real. I feel scared and excited. I feel like it's gonna be even more emotional than season one. I am as scared as you because the thing is, I have been <coughs> mentally ill, like extremely so, like probably most mentally ill I've been in a while. And I've also been taking a new type of antidepressants and the anti part has not been kicking in. So I'm very emotionally <laughs> fragile at the moment. And I just know that I'm gonna be like a sobbing mess. I came prepared too. Since we know that we're gonna be like mentally ill and in hysterics, I figure that I should also profit off of my tears. So I would like to thank today's sponsor. Thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I have used NordVPN tons of times before, mainly when I am watching something on Netflix or another streaming service. Sometimes they'll have content that's only available in specific countries. That's when I use NordVPN because that way I can switch my IP address to another country and still unlock access to all of the content that I would want to watch. It's also a great way to protect your data because they don't track or share what you're doing online and your traffic is always protected by encryption. They've also been tested by AV tests and they are officially the fastest VPN on the planet. Just one account can protect up to six devices and they have dedicated apps for all major platforms. They also have 24 seven customer support if you need any help. And if you decide you don't like it for whatever reason, they have a 30 day money back guarantee. I have an exclusive deal in my description box. Basically, if you go to nordvpn.com slash with Cindy and use my code with Cindy, Cindy, you can get extra subscription time. So go ahead and try it risk-free with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Now let's dive into mental illness <laughs> with watching the first episode of season two of Heartstopper. And then we're just gonna keep on continuing from here and go on this emotional roller coaster. So I'm gonna switch over to the Zoom account because we're dealing with long distance, something that Nick and Charlie aren't dealing with. Lucky bitches. I know, right? Privilege in so many ways, really. The British <laughs> always keep on taking what we should get. Okay, I'm at two seconds. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> what? Girl, we ain't even passed the recap yet. Let me know where you are and then I'll just catch up to you. Birds chirping and it's a picture of them. Okay, hold on. And it says a Netflix series. Okay, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let me get, get to you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> are you at the part where it says a Netflix series or are you at the part where you see a picture of them? And <laughs> I'm getting emotional already. Okay, ready? <gasps> I'm not ready. <laughs> Dude, I'm not mentally stable enough for this. I mean, your mental illness and my like bad family news, we're fragile. It's not looking good, babes. First picture, immediately had tears in my eyes. It's because I paused at the picture and I just saw like love and happiness and that's just like a lot for me right now. Oh my God, I'm literally crying. Babe. All right. <laughs> Let's fucking go. You know, season one started off with him like really bad. And it's literally the same animation with the panels, but everything has changed. Everything has changed, bitch. And he's no longer meeting his crusty boyfriend who's ashamed of him. Oh my God, they're literally in the closet, but he's not ashamed. <laughs> Everyone who's in a long distance relationship right now who's watching this is like, must be nice. Right, I was just thinking that. That's literally what I did when we were first becoming a thing. Remember, I just randomly kissed you. Oh, Don't mind me, I'm just gonna cry into my salad. I can't, I feel like I can't even eat my food. Are you giving Charlie relationship advice? Ah! Rich! <laughs> Tell you fucking icon. I love him. I'm so glad to see you again. The romantic tension of fighting over apple juice. Euphoria could never. <laughs> Nicholas! I have something very important to show you. Imogen, you queen. That's your dog. Did you get a new one? Ava. 
DJ, get a new one. We're still friends, aren't we? I promise I don't fancy you anymore. Also, fancy someone else now. You know, she moves on quick. She moves on from crushes quick. She moves on from the death of dogs quick. Oh, they don't sit next to each other anymore. Oh, that's good. Oh, no. Uh... Wow. Can you imagine dealing with a long distance relationship like that where you don't get to sit next to each other? Stop, bitch. I knew that would happen. What a shame if they were to fight over Charlie. Relation hmm. for the day. Nicholas Nelson, why not I let you for the warning seeing as I hadn't quite finished listing my rules? You're ugly. <laughs> Babe. Don't be so smug. Oh He's like, God. this shit ain't hitting the same. You're just gonna ignore me for two weeks then. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking ignore you. Are you insane? You know, if you're trying to keep it quiet, you should probably stop acting so gay then. I have an idea. Nick can look into Ben's other roles and see if he's yeah, playing yeah. in Harry Potter and then cancel him on Twitter. Boom. Lord we got him. Is. Easy. Tao is literally the worst person to have a crush on. Sometimes I think he might like me back, but other times it's probably just Tao being weird. This was you not knowing if I liked you or if I was just being a weirdo. So true. Checks out. Why not both? Four can a last dose. <laughs> My mom's been moaning at me to get a haircut. Your mom or the whole audience? Oh, guys, cute mom. Elle likes it. You know she loves you when she can still compliment that. But it would look cute short too. You should do what you want. Not the twirl, girl. She's twirling his hair. She's like, I like berries and cream. Yo, y'all risking it at school, man. They're really out here. You're in a locker room. You can't be doing that shit. The locker room is the prime location to be doing that shit. Hey, my mom wouldn't let me. Ow, come on, bro. He's so scared, you can tell. He doesn't know what to do. You know what's scary? That we're at season two and you still have that haircut. Let's conquer that here first, you know? They're so sweet. Oh my God. Why couldn't have this been my life? <laughs> yeah, why can't I be a British boy, you know? You have to tell me about your crush. Oh, come on. I just think it would be so funny if her new crush is now Charlie or something and she's just taking L's every season. <laughs> Fine, okay. It's Ben. <laughs> what in the hell is happening? Girl, get better taste. Jesus. What are you doing? Where are you going? You gotta take a walk. Bye. How the fuck does she even like Ben? What would they even talk about? She'd be like, my dog died. And Ben's like, okay, whatever. Like, cool. How's that related to me, you know? You know my friend Nick probably should tell you. He's my boyfriend. This is not gonna go as well. I know there's something going on with his family. There's a reason why we haven't yes, seen right. anything about his family in season one. Nick is banned from sleepovers from now on. There will be no hanky-panky in this house. What? But would they have this kind of rule if Charlie was straight and had a girlfriend? Probably. I know like my parents would have. So I guess there's just overly strict among other issues that I can uh -huh. tell in the future. We just want people to know we're together. I'm gonna do everything I can to make sure Nick doesn't have to deal with what I did. I can make sure that he never feels pressured. Everything's gonna be perfect. Let's not give too much pressure on perfection. Yeah. Because when you say it like that at the last line of the first episode, it appears ominous. Danger! Well, I think you and Nick need to spend some time apart. Until this coursework essay is handed in, Nick is not allowed around our house and you are not allowed around his. What? You can't, like, enforce a rule like that. What are you going to do? Just, like, monitor him 24-7? Trying to enforce a rule like that is just going to make kids want to sneak around and, like, do worse shit than they would have done in the first place. You have to be a safe space for your child to turn to you if they're going through shit. Got a girlfriend yet? Stop bothering him, David. Just please don't tell him about Charlie. I won't, darling, don't worry. She's a good mom. I wish she could be... Well, no, then they would be brothers. <laughs> I wish she could be Charlie's mom, too, because she's a bitch. Now you wishing Cassandra Clare was writing the show. Girl. This is how people feel when they've never been in a long-distance relationship. We're sitting in different classrooms. We're star-crossed lovers. I didn't know he had a brother. I think he was mentioned in season one, but I don't think we saw him. Wait, did we see the brother already? Yeah, he was the guy that was in the I, living room. Oh, I thought that was the dad. The dad? <laughs> That's middle-aged man, babe. I don't know how British people age. It's been inconsistent. <laughs> Um, you're ridiculous. Oh, Emma Chen, please. Please be Girl. released from the clutches. Not only is he shit, he's gay. He's gay. Hold on. They all need to pause whatever shit they're going through. We need an intervention. How dare they let this happen? They need to save her and, like, show her the light. 
Nick Nelson. Why is this class like jail? They put all their budget in the soundtrack, so they can't afford classrooms anymore. Hey, told Mr. Freak I borrowed your pen and needed to give it back. Cute. Cute as fuck. Why is Ben being all pissed? Shouldn't you be worried about your girlfriend? I see he's still as desperate as ever. Shut the fuck up. You hate me so much. It's not my fault he liked me before you. I hate you because you literally assaulted him. Period. This ain't about your little stupid feelings. He just seems like a very unhappy person. You hurt him. And who knows if you do the same with Imogen? Do you even like her? Sorry, am I not allowed to like girls as well as boys? You know damn well that ain't about that. Wait, is he bi? I don't know. This is showing the full spectrum of bisexuality. You got annoying bi bitches like him. And you got golden retrievers like him. Charlie, who is Charlie? Is that Can you give back? Girlfriend? No, stop it. Give me that back. David! There. If you do have a girlfriend, I, I want to know about it. She needs my approval. How about you take care of your bowl haircut first? Right? You seem to have a lot of issues that we need to cover beforehand. I'm not seeing any studying going on. How could you? They're in love in the park with a beautiful dog. That's what life should be about. Why are you dating Ben? He's done some really bad stuff. What did he do? I can't tell you. I've known him since primary school. He's basically one of my oldest friends. Yeah, but... And you know what? I don't actually have that many friends. But Ben is one of the few people who actually likes me. And I really like him. Imogen. Good luck in the exam. Ah, oh, Imogen, girl. I do get it. Like, you know... I get it. He should have said, I can't tell you who, I can't tell you how I know, but my friend got assaulted by him. So I'm really concerned about you. You need to be careful. That's what you yes. should have done. Yeah, that's true. Because that way, you don't have to out someone, but you can still say what they did. Exactly. His friend could be a girl. It doesn't matter. Assault is uh, assault. That's tough. I sympathize for Imogen because I feel like she is very lonely and insecure. When you're not as sure of yourself, it's very easy to get into like these kinds of relationships or like get taken advantage of by people like that. You gotta tell him, somebody in this relationship has to be the breadwinner here because things are looking grim. We could have that art day at the weekend or something. Honestly, I'm kind of busy, you know, with GCSEs and finishing my application piece for Lambert. Yeah, yeah. Um, that's fine. He's so hurt. You know Sorry. he's hurt. Oh my God, he's so upset. He's with his so dramatic upset. ass, I just know it. Just I saying just... you're busy when you're not, like, that's not cool. Y'all are friends, come on. Tao's been getting the shitty end of the stick every season. What if the brother comes home? I'm spending this season just like being wary of anything that's all wrong. <laughs> no way! What was your name? Charlie. My name is Nanya. Last name? Business. Because it's none of y'all fucking business. I'm David, sorry. I'm Nick's older brother. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I know. You're a piece of work. I just wanted to meet the guy that you know, turned my little brother gay. Ew, uh, don't do Dude. that. I will rock your shit. Come on, mum, he's saying he's bi. I mean, what a load of absolute bullshit. David, please don't swear. He, he can't even admit he's gay. Swearing is not the problem here. It's the biphobia and homophobia. If I were the mom, I would question how one son turned out to be perfect and the other son turned out to be a huge douchebag. One was clearly raised by the father. Let's get that straight right now. Mm. I'm starting to see parental influences for sure. Charlie, this is not your fault. I don't care what David thinks anyway. It was never going to go perfectly with everyone. Coming out to my mom's amazing. There are still awful people in the world, like my brother. So far, I've been crying in both episodes. <laughs> I know we have to get into that shit this season, but they better have a happy ending for the sake of my own mental illness. <laughs> I like Elle. This is a really selfish and stupid thing to do. But I'm going to tell her. Let's fucking go. You got this. I believe in him. Listen, if she can fall for you while you still have that haircut, she'll be able to fall for anything. <laughs> I know you and Charlie are really good mates. Remember when you used to say the most absurd sexual things to me and then you'd be like, gals being pals? A short, sharp haircut. All right. <laughs> Uh-huh, uh-huh. No! Oh, no! I'll take that haircut. He copied and pasted it from Wikipedia. He did? No, I'm just joking oh, about it. Hey, man, don't joke with it. You're gonna be so annoyed with me after that. But I love you because of how annoying you are. I mean... She dropped the L word to him. Wow, wow, that literally flew over my head. How have they not already said the L word to each other? I kind of thought they already had, to be honest with you. <laughs> Yeah, that's why it didn't, like, faze me. That's not me asking you to say it back or anything. Yeah. Hey, sir! 
Wait, she didn't say it back, right? Maybe she's not ready. I don't think she did. Yeah. Damn. Oh, it's okay. No, but it makes you insecure. (laughs) I wouldn't know. But you know what? Maybe she is concerned because lesbians move fast. So when she said, I love you, she's like, no proposal? No U-Haul truck? What does this mean? I hope you're all excited about our Parisian adventure. And we've been told to inform you that boys and girls cannot share rooms. (laughs) What a shame. What a shame. the rules really work out for the gays. (laughs) Groups of four, please. (laughs) Ben doesn't give a fuck. (laughs) Hi. So good. Fucking finally. Was that so hard, Cal? He looks so cute. His outfit also looks really good. That's what I mean. His hair, his outfit, the flowers. What a banger. Oh my God. Look at him. He's eating, babe. He is free from the trenches. And I'm sure the actor is like, finally, I don't look like so ridiculous. (laughs) (laughs) Who decided on that in season one? I just want to know. Isaac. Did you want a drink? Not alcohol. Uh, I mean, there is alcohol if you want it. But if you don't, that's cool too. (laughs) Why are they like the same kind of awkward? Word. They look the same to me, but this is accurate to white gays because they do date each other like they're twins. Not me. No, we look exactly the same, actually. We're part of the problem. <laughs> Why did you cut your hair? It just looks better like this, doesn't it? But you always liked it long. He was tired of me making the same joke over and over. He got sick of it, that's why. Just think about us being out with a couple in Paris. Holding hands in the Louis, kissing in front of the Mona Lisa. For those of you watching with us, I foolishly made a throwaway line that maybe Victoria and I can travel to Paris together. And now, anytime they mention this and what they're gonna do, I gotta take notes because she's gonna expect me to do all this shit with her. (laughs) Yes, I am. (laughs) <laughs> Who knew Oppenheimer could be so romantic? Ew, they're definitely watching the Barbie movie. Don't say that. <laughs> they both look so uncomfortable. He just put way too much pressure on himself. Yeah, I think he's overthinking it. Maybe yeah. they just both need to get drunk at karaoke and just see what happens. Would that be your advice? I like to give advice based on experience. I just think that's probably Wes Anderson's least technically good movie. I mean, it all hinges on the romance between the two kids, which is so unbelievable anyway, because they meet and fall in love immediately. This is me going on a critical analysis of whatever book we're reading or movie we're watching. And you're just like, you really shouldn't have picked that movie. But you love it. If we're going on a date, we should do something we both enjoy. Oh, you kind of made this weird. I don't know. He's trying. Give him a little bit. All right. Like, give him a second. Like, he's scared. Don't give him a hard time. Like, he picked up the movie because, like, he knew you love that movie. He dressed really nice, kind of fixed his style a little bit. Like, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with the things that he did, quite honestly. I think she wants him to be himself, and she yeah. doesn't want him to, like, force Change. anything. I didn't know you invited them. Oh, here we fucking go. Oh, no. Here we go. I don't understand what I did wrong tonight. It's like you were trying to be a completely different person. You're the one who's completely different. You've gone off with your new friends and have forgotten I exist completely. You're the one who said we'd always put our friendship first. Well, I guess romance does ruin friendship. Y'all, give it a fucking second. We just started. Oh, my God. This is how it is with Tal, you know? Anytime he feels slighted by, like, other friends who are taking, like, a bigger deal, that's, like, a trigger for him. Maybe he was just nervous. He was probably just trying to impress you. I liked the old towel. I've liked him for so long and it just hurts. Girl, give him a chance. Like, what? yeah, she's being, listen, love her. She's being a little ridiculous. Love her. She looks fabulous. She always plays. But he's trying for you. You just let him know, hey, it's okay. We don't have to put like this pressure. You know, we can keep it casual. They could have done like a movie night, like at each other's places or something. Like how they did in season one. But just tell him that and then like give him some time to figure it out. Because you know, he's very like extra and dramatic. He needs some time. He also needs like direct verbal confirmation. (laughs) You know who is the only one thriving? This guy right here. So you're going to cheat on my brother. Are you sure you're not just gay? Don't he's still gay. Lying. This is exactly why I didn't want to tell you. Oh, he feels ill. He feels like sick. Oh, God. Fucking relatable when you're stressed. This is me on my new antidepressant. Oh, Tea. Is that how funny it is? Ew. Oh, damn. Give us a trigger warning for showing us that. I'd fight them. I'd fight anyone who's mean to you. 
this is me telling you that I will fight other people for you, knowing that they would snap me in half like a twig. I promised. I told you I was going to come out. I've just been finding it so hard. Maybe we should forget the coming out plan for a while. I think they're putting too much pressure on, like, coming out. Also, even if he did promise or whatever, he's allowed to change his mind. He's also done, like, so well. Like, you told your mom. Like, you told Imogen. Yeah, told like... Charlie's friends. Like, you've told people. Yeah, like, why are you getting hung up on only the things you didn't do well or didn't do? That's my behavior. Obviously, I want you to come out when and how you want to. And if that takes a long time, that's completely okay. Is he worried that his boyfriend isn't going to come out for a while? I think he's just worried of having to, like, continue hiding it. I was going to say, they're not hiding in front of their group of friends. They're not hiding from their family. Really, it's just, like, the general public at school. Yeah, which is totally fine. I mean, I get how it's still hard, but, like, y'all are doing well. They need to, like, take a breath. Probably shouldn't sit next to each other on the couch. Why? Why? Uh... It could be fun being a secret again. Shut the fuck up. No, y'all are friends bare minimum. Don't you dare lie with a smile on knowing that this tears you apart. Have some quiet. Quiet! I fucking hate this guy. Like, I know this is like a bit. I do not need a, a male screaming like that. God, they're all going through it right now. I need Paris to heal them. I like that they're depending their mental health on the Paris trip because that's exactly the kind of shit I would pull. Before you and Nick got together, how did you know that you liked him in that way? I just always wanted to be around him and I literally could not stop thinking about kissing him. I think he might be ace. Oh. He's like confused about how he's supposed to be feeling, quote unquote. Gotcha, that makes sense. Tu veux bien ton plan de réseau là, on est dans le rue, tu n'es Okay, Nick. Yeah, he speaking speaks French? French, babe. Did you not know that? Not him speaking the language of my colonizers. Are we under the water? Then why can't we see any fish? <laughs> this new teacher is giving like a Greta frat bro who's now a teacher. Yeah, I really, when I say like I hate him, like I really do not like this man. He gives me the vibes of someone who used to like be one of like the top people in the frat bros, and you know how you they have to like yell at the freshmen that they're initiating, giving the same vibe. I guess I've just been worried about when I said you didn't say it back. You mean about our prom outfits? Because I still think we should be Princess Peach and Mario. Girl, you know damn well what she was talking not, about. Girl, let's not fucking lie here. I am tired of these bitches lying to their significant other's faces with a smile. Ugh. Ben is so not fucking interested at all. I feel all. bad for Imogen. She's like, oh my God, someone finally likes me. And he doesn't even like her. But she's also picking the fruity men, you know? Like, she has a type, that's for sure. Well, I'm up in the window, but I want the other beds. Why would they do that? <laughs> Y'all are dirty for that. Hello? They know they're dating. What the fuck? That's so rude. I think there might be something with these two. Yeah, you think so? Because they kind of gave each other a look in an earlier scene. But I didn't comment on it. I didn't want to interrupt your hatred for the dude right there. I love the other guy, though. I wish he had better options. Dude, this is fucking stupid. They didn't need to share separate bed. I literally would have told Tao I'd have been like, hey, like, I actually do want to sleep in the same bed as my boyfriend. I just know if this ever happened with, like, two mutual friends that we have, you would be so livid. <laughs> you would be so mad. Listen, I've already been pussy pushed in one hotel in my life. We don't need this happen twice. I would not let it happen. I'd be like, so who's moving? She's so cute. Yeah, she does look good. And Ben looks like he just fucking rolled out of bed. We should get one of those padlocks and write her initials on it. You're joking. It's so late. What the <laughs> fuck is this guy's problem? He's such a dick all the time. He's not even good at like pretending to be straight. I'm gonna need Imogen to stand up. Also, they can definitely get away with PDA in Paris. French people are whores. <laughs> you got someone in your nose. Oh. Let me get that. That's gayer than holding hands. Let me just tell you that right now. I'm not getting whiplash because I know they're building up to his eating disorder, you but know. they're having a cute ice cream moment at the same time. I agree with what you said. Things were better when we were friends. Yeah. Y'all tried this out for five minutes. Literally a movie time. Two hours you gave this. Y'all were like, oh, it didn't work out. Oh well. You guys are being dumb. Yeah, I say this with peace and love, but y'all are being fucking stupid right now. We're in a public space. Yeah. You can your house. Ah! They're cute. I knew he was gonna take a picture of her. Finally, some cute shit. I was sick and tired of their behavior. Bonjour, excusez-moi. Vous pourriez nous? Très bien. 
that way. This is gonna be you looking at me lovingly as a French person comes up to me and spits on my face. Spits on your face? Yeah, when I get hate crimes. Stop that. She looks so good and he looks so busted. <laughs> the wardrobe department did been so dirty because they were like, yeah, we're, we're gonna throw in whatever will fit him. All he cares about is having a girlfriend. I'm not even sure he likes me that much. Do you even like him? Mm-hmm. That's the question here. Do you even like yourself? Because how did we end up here, girly? <laughs> oh. Hello. How dare you? How Fucking move. You? Why are you here? There are multiple tables. He didn't need to sit at that specific table. That's fucking weird. Ew. He's Asian. His genetics can handle it. How's your first day in Paris? I'm not interested in how my day was then. Why are you in a mood with me? Because you're supposed to be my boyfriend. But instead, you've got some sort of obsession with Charlie. I don't know why you're obsessed with Charlie. She's trying to announce it to the table. I'm breaking up with you. Your energy's off. You're not mature and clearly you have some issue that you need to resolve before you're ready to be in a relationship. You'd have to be such a bitch about it. And pipe down. There's no need to call her a bitch. You know when Harry is saying something? That's bad. Now hold on. Hold on a damn minute. How dare you make us agree with that punk. What have you done? Bye then. I feel so bad for her. It's okay. Sometimes a girlie's gotta learn the hard way. Sometimes it's okay to be homophobic. Why would she ever like me anyway? She's so cool and interesting and beautiful. And I'm just me. It's hard because I do think a lot of his problems stem from low self-esteem. But you know what? Even though he is a dramatic, loud, insecure bitch. That was what made me like him in season one. Cute. Oh my God, I can't stand it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> wow. I remember such similar predicaments happening to me. And now I've been banned. Have some decorum. Which storyline are you most invested in right now? I would still say Nick and Charlie. It's too angsty. Where's my escapism? Babe, this is escapism, please. Like, he's being sad that, like, he's not coming out. He's not feeling ready to come out. And I'm like, y'all already came out to your friends. And that's fine. They're pressuring themselves to, like, oh, like, I realized I'm bi. And now we're dating. We should come out, like, tomorrow or something. And it's like, Y'all can take it slow. It's fine. Younger people, though, when they realize, I feel like there's a lot more pressure to come out right away. Yeah, you know what? Because the actor for Nick did feel pressure to come out as bi because people were giving him shit because he was like hanging out with like um a, a woman, like another actress. I think they were holding hands or something. And they were like, a straight man playing a queer character, but he's bi. And he did not want to come out that way. Like, you could tell that he was salty. I'm looking forward to the rest of the Paris trip. I hope that we get more happy moments between Tao and Elle because we need more of that. I say this with peace and love, but they're being fucking stupid. And that's not what I signed up for. Like, I need them to give me some cute moments. I almost feel like the way that Elle was reacting was almost out of character a little bit. Yes, I kind of think so too. Because like, why is she acting like that? If you were best friends for so long, why would you not be more considerate of maybe what he's going through and how he's like emotionally stunted because he's got too much, too much shit going on? I think you can explain it away to being like, oh, you know, she's tried all this effort. She just wants him to be himself. But like, he can't do that. You just tell him that then y'all can figure it out together. Like they literally tried for just like fucking five seconds and they were like, oh, I knew it wouldn't work out. Nothing even happened. <laughs> Nothing. Yeah that happens. I think they just need to relax, which is what we're seeing them do now in Paris. So I